Hey, Digi fans. Hey, I want to show you a really quick uh, trick. When you have a stamp brush <clears throat> that you really like, however, you want to change it up a little bit. And I was doing my You Are a Hero page for Memorial Day and in tribute to my sweetheart, my prince. And one of the things I, I, I do love this flag in our stamp brush. Um, and the name of that one is... Uh, it's in the designer kits, red, white, and blue. Um, the the only thing is, I wanted to change this and I wanted to add color. Now we know that in the new MDS2, that's one of the things that we're actually going to be able to do is do multiple colors on a stamp brush. But right now we can't. <clears throat> so to modify that, what I did was I took a square punch. So I went to my punches, and I went to my basic punches, and I just added this square punch. And when I added that, I went to color fill and I changed it to uh, Knight of Navy. Um, since I've already done that, we'll close that out. Now when I did my square punch, it wasn't to size exactly, so I just sized it the way I wanted to. And then I took these little stars. Let's just move those up. I grouped these all as one. This is actually one stamp brush. Let me show you how I did that. You'll see they're all grouped right now. Let's ungroup them. And let's click on this and we'll find out that this is from July 4th, Small Stars. So I wanted to fit a bunch of those in there. So I just clicked on one and hit Command C for copy and then Command V for paste. And that gave me another star. And then I just put those, arranged them how I wanted to right there. And that's how I did my little flag for this page. Very simple, um, but it gave me uh, a little change in the flag. So I hope you like it. Have a great day.